Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Dungeons of Dreadmore. Run 100, already in progress, floor 4 here. We just did some tinkering and some smithing to get ourselves in some reasonable spots. Uh, Potion of Radiance could be good for a shield later, maybe. Watch this Diggle kill us, wouldn't that be hilarious? Actually, he might. Hold on. Push him away. Okay, now he's behind the stone, and he's dazed. Oh, not for days for long, though. All right, we should shoot him with something. Let's go with... Scythe Bolt, maybe? We do have a decent crossbow now. Again, tinkering counts for a lot. He only has two health left. You can finish him off with something weak. Let's go with this. There we go. Oh, he had the artifact. Okay, we need to put the artifact... Oh, what do we need to do with this? Hold on. Eyeball Shrine. Okay, that's directly south of us. We can do that. Okay, great. Well, that was basically the reason why we're still on this floor, so... We can explore a little bit here. Ah, oh, that's a really good shield. Uh, the deflection is mostly what I'm thinking. I mean, we can always improve it, too, with smithing. We need more silver, but we can totally get that. Uh, it might even be in here. There's a lot of bad guys in here that I'm not wild about. So, okay, punch the mustache. Uh, how'd that go? Debatable, I think. Okay, great, you're out. Pumpkin goes away. There you go. Okay, hello, Pumpkin. Three hits from Pumpkin is not as bad as I would have thought. Platinum. Damn it. I was hoping for native silver. Uh, Aquaman box, and that's it. Okay. Well, nothing too great in there, then. Okay, let's go, let's go down and drop off this artifact and get this done. Okay, don't step on any of the traps or anything else we want to do here. Down here. Fucking windy as all hell over here. Alright, so eyeball shrine. Here we go. Okay, so put this thing on the eyeball shrine. And we get a new crossbow that is oh, damn it. I just I just tinkered this this crossbow. Ah, this is actually worse. I mean it does have the savvy up, which is nice. Increases our sneakiness, which isn't that great, I guess. Yeah, I don't think I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth it. Ah, so we're just sell it immediately then. Oh, it's a nice big store. Maybe something good in here. I that might be wishful thinking, but we'll see. Okay, so junk all this first. Okay, so what do you got in here? You've got a sword does nine damage. No, my sword does eleven damage right now. So if you're not doing eleven damage, don't even talk to me. Holy fuzzy cats. Um, that's 57k. We can't afford that, but that's quite the fucking weapon. Uh, six defense might be... Uh, we can definitely improve the shield, though. We just need some more silver. Uh, that's platinum. Don't need platinum. Okay, we just need more silver and then we're good. The Morning Star is decent. That's 12 damage. Kinda hate the negative six to hit though. That sounds bad. Scaly Cobra of the Fish is pretty good. That's seven defense. We did just encrust this, but I think too bad. Seven thousand though. Uh let's see. The battle mittens are a little tempting as well. I mean right now it comes down to necromantic damage is not doing anything for us anymore. Battlements might be worth it. The minus three to hit does suck, though. I don't know what is it with the freaking morning stars around here. And that's basically it. So unless we want to steal this, which I don't think is going to work out well for us. We've only stole one time successfully from this shop. And that was when we we're on level like seven or eight. We've never stolen successfully below or sorry, above level seven. So even though this is tempting, I don't think we can do it. I doubt we have enough things to sell to make it worth it too, but we could try. Um, 
So if I go to the Wizarding Realm and basically grab, like, let's grab all this stuff first. And we can sell all of this, but I don't think there's any way we're getting to 57k. Maybe, maybe if we sold all of our gems, maybe, maybe. Even that, I think, is only going to take us to, I'm going to say maybe 30k, maybe 40 on the outside if we're like really lucky but i don't know i mean it's a cool weapon don't get me wrong the krong hammer sounds really cool i do want it but i don't know if it's possible all right let's grab all the let's grab all the gems and we could theoretically empty out the entire wizarding realm and maybe we'll be able to get there it means we have to build everything up from scratch again but that might not be too bad. Yeah, like I said, in 30Ks, not quite enough to get there. Even if I sold all of the ingots, it still wouldn't be enough. All right, we need to keep this in mind. Keep the Krong Hammer in mind. Floor four, Krong Hammer. In fact, I'm gonna write that down. Floor. Can't spell today. Floor. Or. Wrong. Hammer. Okay, it's written down. Watch me, like, watch, look at that in, like, three episodes and not know what the fuck I'm talking about. Um, we should definitely pick this up, though. Kitty Helper of the Fish is good. We did just encrust our armor, but, again, too bad. Okay, do we have enough silver to be able to modify this at all? I think it takes like another two. Uh, let's look at this. So I want to scroll all the way down here. Oh, that's encrusting. Hold on, crafting. Okay, so there should be a silver in here somewhere. There's a silver shield, like the one we currently have. We found, but we should be able to make it better and we should be able to make something very similar to it somewhere down here. I wish I could just filter this by, like, shields. Wouldn't that be great? Sadly, no such filter exists. Here we go. Uh, we need three silver to do that. But that would be a better... That would be better. And then another three silver to make it the filigrade. And then two more silver and aqua fortis to make it a mirror shield. So all totaled, we need eight silver in order to make a mirror shield. I think we even have the aqua fortis. We, there's no way we have eight silver now. We might have three silver. Making this a better shield would be good. Let's see if we have the three silver. Uh, hold on, I have to wait till we get back to the Wizarding Realm. Okay. So down here is the silver, and we have two. All right, so I need one more. We did use one. We used one for the freaking pearl inlay. If we hadn't done that, well, we didn't know. We didn't know. All right, so we're gonna look out for silver. Also, apparently, for another, you know, 30,000 gold. Which might eventually happen if we pick up all of the gems ever. We're pretty much done with this floor, though, right? There's some stuff off in the north, but I don't think I care. All right, let's go Let's go out of here. I'm going to blobby go away. There, good counters. All right, here we go. Now, the later floors will have better loot anyway, which is a good reason to come down here. So, of course, we live. Very important caveat. Okay, get rid of you guys. Come on. Essential Ravens at least aren't blinding me. At least not yet. They probably want to, but they haven't done it yet. Uh, alchemy box, salt, okay. No, uh, no silver just lying about, huh? Suppose that'd be a little bit too much to ask, I suppose. Doesn't even see me, so I get a crit. Yeah, it's taking three to take these guys out. We definitely need to improve our weapon. And this weapon we've had for two floors now. That's usually not a good sign.
I mean, the additional damage will be helpful. I probably need to invest in, uh, in Clockwork Knight. And we can get, like, augmented arms and all that good stuff, so we'll see. Darts are not really going to help me right now. Uh, that's really bad. I did nothing except drop more traps in my way, which I guess is good for experience. Oh, dropped a diamond. All right, sure, why not? At the very least, we can sell this. I'd rather use them, but if it comes down to it, we can sell them. I did manage to get myself surrounded somehow by some slimes, but easily taken care of. Swarmy hurts a bit, but it's not too bad. The Blobby, come on, the Blobby just die. Thank you. Diggle, go away. Okay, good. And the other Klepto Bobby. I mean, he doesn't ever steal anything. Don't know why he's called a Klepto. Wind-up double plus crossbow is better. Shit. Actually, is it? Hold on. It doesn't do more damage, but it's better base. If we were to modify it the same way we modified our current crossbow, it would be better. Um, that's definitely a thought. We could definitely do that. I mean, the crossbow... Yeah, we should probably do that. Eventually. We don't have to do it right away. I don't think we can right now because we need the ruby to be able to do it, and we don't have any rubies right now. We sold them all. I mean, for a very good reason, and if we get the Krong Hammer, we're going to be freaking rocking. It might be the last weapon we ever need for this, uh, for this run. We'll see. Especially if we tinker with it. If we tinker with it, we'll definitely knock it out of the park here. Well, we'll be good right up until we get to Lord Dreadmore, and then, of course, Lord Dreadmore punches us in the face, and we're done. So, you know, don't let Lord Dreadmore punch you in the face. Good pro tip. Mossy Shield. That's not going to cut it. Okay, let's drop off some stuff here. I don't want to carry with me here. Uh, the Double Plus Crossbow. I'm going to put this off to the side. We might need that later. Bronze. I don't actually have any bronze here. Steel, though. I do have steel here. And then iron over here. Pressure plate. I don't know how often we actually need the pressure plates for, but we'll keep them around. And I think that's all the gems. We have Electrum. Not a usual element. Okay, largely everything else can just go away. Uh, the Brass Mechanism, I suppose, is good. There. And the Native Platinum is not as good, but sure. Uh, platinum is here somewhere. Oh, that's right, down the bottom. There. Okay, and the Mossy Shield would have been good, like, you know, a floor ago. Right now, though, not really that great. Let's try to avoid the gnomes right now. I suppose you guys know where any silver is. I'd totally love some silver to be here. Or just, you know, a thousand gold. Um, or 30,000 gold and you're just laying about. I mean, that's just making fun of me, right? I mean, the gold, the coin of the realm. It does make sense Brax is concerned about the coin of the realm, right? He's probably loyal as a demon. He's probably loyal to Lord Redmore. So we can't go counterfeiting money. I mean, I think that's what the bankering, uh, the bankering. The banking skill is all about. It's about specifically doing that. Like, at high levels, you can definitely just make up money. I think you get cursed for it. You have, like, demon, uh... Demon IRS coming after you. This could be bad. But this... It already takes three hits per each one of these guys. This is going to be tough. Alright, I'm going to launch in some fire here first thing. And then let them come to us. And instantly get surrounded, which is not good. 
Oh, and the Diggle coming from the left is going to murder me. That might be the cause of my death right here. We'll see. Not dead yet. We are a little bit blind because of the existential raven, but let's open up a path on the left side. Shit, now I can't see. Uh, and I don't have a push and clear vision either, do I? Of course not. That'd be too easy. Okay. So breathe fire over to this side. I can't. I can't breathe fire over to the left side. Can I shoot my rocket powered punch? Nope. Can't do that either. There we go. Um, I think I just shot my rocket towards myself, but I'm not actually sure. Oh, there we go. Well, I hit something. Okay, I can actually hit something. I did. I do know what I'm hitting. That's good. I am getting destroyed, though, because I can't see the raven, and the raven has made me blind. Okay, there we go. Oh, well, we're surrounded again. How do we get surrounded? Oh, thank goodness we healed up. Okay, good. Um, boo -boo -boo -boo, what do we want? Rocket jumps a little tempting. We don't have any conflagration protection. Oh, we have one conflagration protection. That's not going to do it, though. Because this is like 10 damage or something crazy. Um, do, 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 do. What do we do? Um... Defensive bash it gives us some defense, but it's all bad. It's all bad. The room of exploding doesn't help us. Smithing, I guess, makes us stronger. Um, it's wash buckling. Does he counter all the next few attacks? You know what? Fuck it. Let's do swash buckling, and then cast on ourselves immediately. And we just counter everything. Now we still get hit by it, but. We also counter, which is good. Especially as we're surrounded here. I try to open a path on the left side, but the diggles just keep on coming. Okay, good. Good, good, good. And the diggles do keep on coming. Okay, good. Can I start making my way to the left now? Thank you. I mean, they're still following me, but what are you gonna do? Okay, good. He's out. There's more Diggles. There's more Commando Diggles. More than you can shake a freaking Diggle stick. At. More than you should shake it at. And just leave it just hanging there. Oh, doom to doom, doom, doom. This is what doom looks like. This is definitely what doom looks like. Um, I can't do much here. Well, we're not dead yet. As long as we're not dead, there's hope. I mean, there are still 32 monsters over there, but that's less than what I thought there were. It looked like a lot more. I really do need a lot more uh, damage in my weapon, though. Like, the smithing helps, but it's not good enough right now. Okay, so we do have ranged weapons, right? Remember that. We have a shit ton of bolts in here. Let's start using some of these bolts. Clockwork drill bomb. Sounds great. Let's do it on the swarmy. See what happens. I think he's gonna explode. Yeah, there we go. He explodes. He does some damage everywhere. That was not too bad. Okay, the constructs are easy targets. You gotta remember that. They go down two hits easy. Slimes, I wish they, would, they went down a little bit easier. The freaking existential raven we gotta take care of before it blinds us again. And we are still surrounded. There's no real bottleneck for me to go to. I guess there's one down south. We can try going south. As soon as they clear away the diggle. This bottleneck right here. That might save us. So, of course, there's an actually way around. They go around me. But we'll see. I've picked up a black pearl for some reason. Nobody knows why. That's right, can't you reduce Black Pearls down to chalk? I forgot that. That's right, if we're not going to be doing Black Pearl inlays anymore, which the last one did not end up being too good for us, but I guess that's debatable. Um, but if we don't do those anymore, we can always make more steel if we need it. There we go. So you're down. Only 15 monsters left. That doesn't sound too bad. 
You go away. All right, there's a lot of gems here. That's good news. We're gonna need those gems later for sure. Then of course we live. But always assume you're gonna live. Oh, the freaking witch doctors over there too, the mask guys. Yeah, the witchies are gonna resurrect some guys here. Not to mention blind me. Gotta take these guys out. You just shoved me? You freaking shoved me. I didn't even know they could do that. How many how many times have we run up against the witchy? I've never seen them shove us before. Maybe I just pressed the wrong button or something? I have no idea. It really looked like he shoved me though. It made me go in a different direction. Could be wrong. Get up some brass ingot for some reason. There we go, you're out. Only six monsters left. Well, this is what Doom looks like. We're gonna be doing pretty well against Doom then. Come up here, murder this guy too. Before he resurrects anybody. There you go. Okay. Okay. After this, we shouldn't be in too bad of a spot. Like, if they finish us off here, we deserve it. Oh, and we even got a reward. What is that? Let's show the Zodiacal Elves. It's an orb. Uh, if I was a wizard, you notice I have, like, no points in wizardry, though. So, that's useless. It gives us 20 more magic, but I'd have to replace either my shield or my weapon, and that's not gonna happen. Slime doesn't even know I'm here, so he just dies. Okay, not so bad. It looked a lot worse there at the very beginning, but then we turned out fine. We could do some side quests. We have no actual quest right now. I suppose we could, just so you actually experience. Alright, what do we got? The magical artifact Zankolum, the Mountain of Lichy, must be found and used on the Mellow Shrine. I think we know where the Mellow Shrine is. I that sounds... Ah, uh, maybe this is the last level. Alright, sure. Why not? We'll find it for you. Gonna be somewhere. Pick up all these beautiful gems that piracy has left us. Uh, pirate sun. Some turquoise. Some steel. Amber. Ruby. Emerald. Aquamarine. Yeah, see, with findings like that, we should be able to get to 50k, you would think, in no time at all. But it does take quite a bit of time. We could just sell everything at all times. There, you're gone. Okay, now we know how to make clockwork drill bullets. Whether or not we can is a thing entirely. We know how. Zinc. I keep seeing, like, the small silver there, and I keep thinking, oh... It's totally silver. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's the game trying to fool you. Slimes can't see. So you can sneak right up on them, at least the first time. That's a lot of acid damage, unfortunately. He, yeah, he doesn't see me at all, so... Oh, come on. He didn't even know I was there, and freaking missed. So the question is, do we want to try to open these up? I guess maybe we don't even know how, do we? Metal buckler is not going to be good enough. Yep, we have no idea how to open these up. So, all right, just prison. Okay. Well, sorry, guys. Need language in prison for basically ever. I suppose we might as well pick up this quest, too. What the hell? The Monster Regiment, Lord General 7th Brigade, the Bearer of Envy, and the Commander of the Vile, Powazamar, the Bringer of Prunings, must be stopped at all costs. Ah, we know where they are. Alright, let's go for them then. Ah, uh, what is this? Oh, we'll take Cell. Sure, why not? Let's grab Steel. I'm mean, we still have the heads up display that works, so that's nice. We haven't found a heads piece that actually needs to re replace it yet. over. There you go. Alright, so now these guys need to all die. Oh, they're witchies. Okay. They might resurrect each other. But only if they see me coming. Okay, this is the boss man. So if we take him out, the rest of them should run, and then I don't need to worry about them resurrecting, because then they're too busy running. So I think after this, there's probably one more. 
Yeah, this dude. Uh, rocket punch to the face, please. Or to your back, one of the two. Hello, who are you? Oh, you're the dude I need to be fighting. Oh, that's bad. Okay, good, good, good. Good, good. Die, please. There you go. Okay, we got a weapon that does 8 damage. No, 10 damage. That's pretty bad. As soon as we can sell that, we absolutely should. So I can go to the Wizarding Realm. You know what? I'm going to sell all the gems all the time. Let's have a plan for it. Let's put the ruby off to the side, but I think we're going to pick up these other ones that I don't have a plan for. And we're going to sell these. So I'm going to just dump them off. I can't do anything with that, but the uh, rest of these are all going to be dumped off. Uh, yeah, that looks right. Okay, so then the other one start piping. Come over here, drop that off. Zinc, come over here, and zinc's right there. Brass is off to the side, I thought. No. Brass is, no, that's bronze. Copper. We don't actually have brass here. A lot of stuff to sell, but that's actually a good thing for us. And then gold is, oh, that's right, we place gold or something else there. Excel goes off to the side. And scrap steel over here. Okay. Oh, and the mossy shield gets put in the giant pack of things to be sold. Yeah, there we go. Because we want to get to that 50k. We want we want the Krong Smasher. Krong Smasher? Krong Hammer. Whatever. It's a hammer, it smashes things, that seems right. Razor Sword is gonna get us there. We're gonna sell everything, that's how it's gonna work. The Bonsai Bomb, it sounds cool. It says there's a tree inside. You'd think that when you throw it, it would make a tree randomly happen on the tile, thus causing damage the same way, say, a stone arrow does. That is not the case. Not what that does. It does a little bit of damage, but it does not make a tree grow there. Uh, what would I want here? I probably want to keep going with smithing. Or I can keep going with arrows. Yeah, you know what? I have a ton of arrows. I'm not using enough of them. Let's try to encourage myself to use more of them. Run, here. Fine, whatever. Do not raise your friends. There. Uh, well, this is garbage. The rock wand throws boulders, I believe. There's a rock wand and a stone wand. I don't remember which one's which. Uh, let's put away the character. Oh, hey! A mirror shield. So I don't need to make one myself. I can just find one. Okay, that's great, too. I was going to make one, but we don't actually need the silver now. That's good news. So, of course, I live, which is debatable. But these guys aren't too dangerous long as they don't blind me, we should be all right. Freaking Rutabaga give me acid damage? I don't know what it feels. Oh, I guess it's toxic, not acid, but still. Okay, up here, murder this Kleptoblobby. Great. There's the Mellow Shrine, which we found. So now we need to use the artifact of the Mellow Shrine, I believe. Great. Okay, so we're going to use the shield because that's what we do. There you go. Now we have some magic reflection. About a 50% chance, which is pretty good, of magic just bouncing right off of us. The golden axe is pretty bad, though. Uh, so the quest is, yeah, just use it on the Mellow Shrine. Easy, simple. Problem. Done. We got the crappiest axe in existence. What the fuck is this? That's just insulting. All right, well, so it goes. Can't do anything about it. Not like we can kill the uh, the quest giver. Which would be a little tempting in almost any other game. Have we done that before? I want to say we did that in Fallout 4. Where the quest giver gave us something like absolutely garbage and we just shot him in the face. That sounds familiar. I can't think of what the quest was off the top of my head though. And I couldn't even tell you what episode it's in. But it sounds vaguely familiar. That is a crappy robe. 
I mean, I'd love to sell it, but we can't get to it. Oh, we do have, do we have rocket jump? We don't actually have rocket jump yet. Okay, I'm surrounded here. Hold on. Murder you and just get out of here. I mean, they can't really do much to me right now. Yeah, I'm still at full health somehow. I mean, my block seal is just that good now. Yeah, I don't seem to be getting hurt at all. Apparently, I'm immune. I'm apparently a small god. I mean, that's not going to last for very long. As soon as I go down to the next floor, I'm going to lose my god status. But right now, I can enjoy it for what it is. Not dead yet. Okay, grab the iron. Or to the diggle. There. Okay, good. So we're done with that. The witchy is going to try to resurrect somebody. No, he's just going to make me blind. What a dick. He's dead now, though. Uh, let me, uh, just pause and just wait. There we go. That's better. We keep getting these rooms where stuff can be made, but we already made the thing that we wanted to make, which is, or didn't we actually make it? We found it. We already have a mirror shield. I think you go one step beyond for the mirror shield. I think there's, um... I'll have to look at that. I don't think there's anything with silver we can do, but we might at least be able to tinker with it. Let's take a look at this, actually. Um, I mean, I might be thinking of a recipe that we don't actually own right now because recipes do differ from run to run. But if I look at crafting and go down to the mirrors, or sorry, don't go down to the, to, nope, not, uh, don't have ingredients, don't worry about that. Don't worry about the half scale either. We'll just go down to where the shields are. Or where the silver shields are, anyway. Here we go. Okay, so that's the mirror shield there. Yeah, it must be a found recipe, which we did not find. Okay, so then for tinkering, is there anything I can do with the mirror shield? Uh, do this here. I can only do that. Which is not really that useful. Um... If I had any skill in alchemy, I'd be able to do this, but again, that's not that great. The offensive shielding is kind of nice. We have to make a gladius. We had a bronze dagger at one point, but I think we sold it. Same with the iron dirk. We had that at one point, I think we sold that too. We can always make these, though. These are easy to make. The offensive shielding is nice. Gives us some additional uh, damage. Like, four mites, not bad at all. So maybe something we can do there. If we find another Dirk and Gladius and whatever, we should definitely use them for that purpose. But otherwise, it's about all we can do. But we found a good shield. That's good. Whether or not that actually carries us through the rest of the run, I don't know. And we're full up again. Okay. Back over here. Again, we're selling most of our stuff here. Uh, even the bitumous coal? Maybe not the bitumous coal. How about the hematite? I don't think we're selling anything that can be turned into ingots, right? So, have ingredients. No secret recipes. Oh, no. Uh, here. There we go. Okay, so we'll drop the iron off. The grunge here goes away. The rock wand. Throwing a boulder can be useful. Doesn't do a terrible amount of damage, but not the first choice. The Wanda Tesla is pretty good. That's a good buff. Uh, bronze and oh, that's copper. Okay, I was wondering why there was two of the same thing there. It made no sense to me whatsoever. Okay, so we want to. The black powder goes off over here. Brass piping goes over here. That's brass, right? Yeah. Steel. Iron. Bronze is that one. Copper goes above. Okay, sort me. Oh, the that's right, the crappy that's right. It just it doesn't look like anything. It looks like a black hole. Uh potion of radiance. I guess I could have used that to counter the uh the darkness. But too late. Okay. Great. Done. 
Let's move on. I mean, really, the mirror shield feels like we're accomplished. We should leave the floor. Probably shouldn't actually do it, though, because we're not ready for that. Oh, there's a shop. Everything good here? Well, belt of iron plates is okay. I don't actually have a belt. But do I want to spend any money? Because I do want to probably go upstairs instead. I probably don't want to spend any money. The weapons here suck, so that's that's actually good for us. Oh, that's a nice bow, though. That's a nice crossbow. 19k, we can totally afford it. But if we do it, no Kronghammer for us. I can't do it. I can't. I can't justify it. Okay, we have basically a shit ton. Oh, hold on. We have basically a shit ton of stuff in the Wizarding Room right now. So let me... Solve the extra stuff here. Okay, good. That's done. All right, we're gonna go to the Wizard Realm and basically uh, get Brax for all he's worth here. We have to visit multiple times. A lot of gems here. We want at least 60k. That's what we're looking. Well, actually, it's more like 58, right? 58k, whereas we want to be. I don't think we're gonna get there here, but we could try it. Especially if we're selling all the gems, we might get closer. Actually, we're already at 43. Holy crap, could we do it? Could we do it? It's a note I wrote actually going to, like, hold up. It can actually, like, you know, be useful. I've mean, already kept it in mind. I guess it's not that useful. Okay, so that's everything. Except, I guess we had to count sell everything. Actually, if we're close, we should sell everything. We just need 10k more. That's all we need. And we do it. We're at 50k. Okay, we're at 58. Holy fuzzy cats. We gotta go upstairs, like right now. Like right now. I grabbed the trap too, just in case, and then we'll head up here. Okay, so we need to go to the shop. Uh, that's the purple, right? Yeah, the, the pink, whatever. Watch me get killed by a pumpkin my way there. I was joking, but holy crap. Come on. Uh, stay away from the Ely. Grab the Pyrite, and I just need to keep moving. Just gotta keep moving. Okay, Thermal Blobby, you wanna fight? Fine, I'll fight you. There you go. We just need to keep moving. Keep on going up. Up and over. We have the 58k. It might be a little bit more than that, but that's why we picked up more stuff, just in case. Okay, so it is 57, actually, so we're fine. Buy this weapon, please. There you go. There you go. Alright, so this does... 15 plus 24 is 42, if I'm doing my math right. 42 damage per hit. We should be one-shotting everything until, like, floor 8 or 9, I think. Let's try it out. I know we just saw a bunch of bad guys. Where'd they all go? Where'd you all go? You afraid of me now? There we go. There's some bad guys here. He dodged. That's not a good sign. There you go. There you go. That's the stuff I want to see right there. Okay, I mean, I'm not saying this is a one run. I would never say that because that would just jinx us. Not to mention this is going to do like diddly and squat to Dreadmore himself. But it will help us get to Dreadmore. And that's important. Hey, yeah, that Dreadmore, I'm coming for you. Now, granted, we don't have the weapons we need to be able to take out Dreadmore. Um, a more advanced crossbow would definitely do it, and we can definitely buy that at the shop above. We have to sell everything to get there, though. It's probably not worth it. I'm have done with this floor anyway. Uh, we do another side quest. That might help. Yeah, okay, what the hell. What do we got? Let's find the item Nojack, the Gathonic statue, but warned is guarded by Lord Trustman's servant, Nakru the Gnashing Wisdom. Okay. Okay. We know exactly where that is. It's south, down south. Let's go. 
You guys are just gonna get destroyed. Like if you are not a mini boss and I hit you. Oh really? He actually managed to hold on. Okay, he actually managed to hold out there. I'm kind of impressed. Uh let's go and kill these guys off, right? If we're doing one hit KOs for the most part, let's just keep on going with that. He did resurrect that dude. That's no worry, because he's dead now. Again. Wouldn't that suck? You're brought back to life only to be killed by the exact same dude who killed you before. In more or less the exact same way. There we go. Grab all this and sell it, I suppose. I mean, there is a Loot Fist statue around here somewhere, but I would have to care, and I don't. I thought it was around this way. Oh, it was this side. This side, okay. So there's our artifact. I did beat up this guy. He's a little worrying. He does have more health than I do. Uh, it would take at least two hits to take him down. He kind of looks like a snowball. The snowballs hit hella hard. So if we can get him not to hit us at all, that'd be great. I'm going to do swashbuckling to make sure he's countered. Which will help us for another three turns. Okay, he got countered. Got countered again. Now I get to punch him. There you go. There's no way this weapon is better. Yeah, okay, it's crap. That's what I thought. I was going to say, there's no way. Um, the thing is, do we have enough to be able to afford the crossbow? My guess is no. But I could be wrong. Oh, we could go to the wizarding realm. That could do it. Yeah, that might do it. Okay. Let's go into this arcane address here. So this is... F-R-I-P-O-T-4. Dracol. Okay. Got it. Let's go. We'll drop off everything here because we don't want to carry anything with us into the wizarding realm right now. Or into the uh, other area. All the vitriol is this one, right? Yes. Not that I need it. The water vitriol we were saving for the... We're making a mirror shield, but it turns out I found one. So, this is already a pretty lucky run. Got the pyrite sound. I don't think we need this. Uh, Alright, we're good here. Let's go ahead and turn this in here. So, what is this? This is... Come on, Penny, get out of my way. we go. It worked. Watch this area kill me. It's possible. These places are dangerous sometimes. Charge me. He dies. Uh, there's some diggles. Can we going around here apparently? Yeah, Commander Diggles. There we go. The fact that they block these sometimes is just amazing to me. Uh, I suppose we put the boots because we need to sell them, right? The whole reason why we're here is to pick up loot to sell. Also, the experience is good, too. Never gonna say no to a bit of experience. Especially if it's free. So far, so good. I mean, these guys are not dropping loot, unfortunately. So the only loot we're gonna get from these guys, I think... Uh, or this area, rather. Is going to be the stuff in chests. Which is not as much as I would like. Especially since I don't actually see any chests. Very windy. Okay. Well, experience at least. Everybody, every diggle dies. The freaking vegetable got resurrected and died in the exact same spot. Makes you wonder why the witchy even bothered. I guess it did slow me down for a whole turn. But now the witchy's dead. Okay, golems of doom. Well, somebody's doom. Not mine. I'm cocky. I'm getting cocky. I should not be cocky. We can get wiped so incredibly easy right now. Like, if they get a good series of hits on me or they surround me, we're fucked. 
So don't let them do that. We gotta be smart. We're smarter than the AI. Well, I hope we're smarter than the AI. I guess it's not guaranteed. It's possible though. Take out the Diggle here. Take out the Witchy next. Both of them, I think. Yeah, they're gonna blind me otherwise. That is bad. Uh, I don't have a Potion of Radiance on me. I critted, so he's probably dead. Okay, leveled up. I will take... You know what? Not actually done with smithing yet, but I don't think we need that yet. Let's do... Um... Mist of the Corsair. You still do escape a tight spot. Okay. Rocket jump gets me to augmented limbs. I think we want that. Still can't bloody well see, though. I just pause until I get seen. I think, yeah, we took care of all the witchies. This guy somehow didn't attack me. That's just weird. Nothing. All these guys are dead and burning. It's the great thing about the Krong Hammer. Lots of burning death. Yeah, lots of instant burning death, too, which is great. We've only had to hit a couple of guys one or more than once, but uh, for the most part, these are all one-hit kills. Oh, shit. I did it again. This has killed us before. This room right here. Because these guys hit like a freaking Mack truck, and they have a lot of health. And I press the stupid button that summoned them. Okay, this is the only way out, too, though. The way out is up this way. I could die right here. It could happen. Okay, what can we do to ameliorate this? Uh, give me a buff so I do more damage. Okay, next thing we do is we separate them, right? Let's do um, the Rocket Power Punch and at least stun one of these guys for one turn. Okay, so he's backed. He is stunned for one turn, so that's good. The next step... Is that guy hurt at all? He's a little hurt, but he's not as hurt as I'd like. Okay, the next step is fire. I like fire. Let's do fire. Okay, he's coming towards me. He's only a little hurt. What do I do else? Uh, there's the Clockwork Grow Bomb. Totally worth. We keep on backing up while that takes away there. There we go. He exploded, but he didn't take that much damage. Oh, we might be totally boned. Uh, Plague Bolt is not going to do it. Most of these bolts are just like basic damage bolt, which is fine, but it's not going to do much. The Clockwork Drill Bomb Bolt really is the best one I had there, and I've already used it. Um, throw a rock at him? It seems improbable that's actually going to work out too well. Okay, so now he's in my face. There's no way I do 85 damage in one hit. Okay, he did like half of my health in a single blow. I'm so fucked. Yep, I almost had him, but that's where I died. Fuck. I should not have gone to the Wizarding Realm. Well, if we had just a slightly different seed for that particular address, I think it would have worked. But sadly, we didn't, so, you know, we didn't. Well, it's sort of like a turn up in a mysterious dimension. So much for TBBL. And that's it for our runs through Dungeon of Dreadmore. Fun times. Always fun times. Glad to play it. Glad to get to know the systems a little bit better. Um, 100 runs is not enough to actually become an expert for sure, but I definitely have a higher appreciation for this game than I did when I started. And that's always good. This is definitely one of my top 10 roguelikes for sure. Not that I exactly have a top 10 list. I probably will by the time we actually go through 10 of these. But all right, that was a century. That was a full 100 runs in Dungeon of Dreadmore. That is our second century completed. We did the last century with Space Grunts. Um, I don't know what the third century is going to be yet, but I'm sure I'll have something lined up by the time it's ready for the next videos. Thanks for watching. Again, this has been Dungeon Dreadmore. I'm Peace of the Universe. Your Peace of the Universe, too, and I'll see you guys next time.